Greetings and welcome back to my kitchen. Guys, in this video, I will be sharing with you all my Mbongo Chobi recipe. Mbongo Chobi is a spicy black stew popular all over Cameroon, but most especially to the Basa tribe. Keep watching as I unfold to you all the mystery and secret ingredients that make up this delicious dish. If you are new here, you are most welcome. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And to my return subscribers, I welcome you back again. Thank you for your endless love and support. So guys, here is the Mbongo Chobi. Keep watching guys. Thank you. So to begin with guys, I will be using this fresh cut fish. I will kill and I will wash it. I am using salt, warm water and some lemon to remove all the slime from the catfish. This step is very, very, very important. Now my catfish is clean, you can see. I'm just going ahead now to, to salt it, I'll marinate it with some salt and some no cube then i'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil on it and i will toast that into my air fryer you can use your oven some people cook it as it is but i prefer to at least grill it a little bit so i'll be using my air fryer you can fry it if you want to but i'll be using my air fryer to 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 toast it Guys, you can use catfish or any fish of your choice. It's, it's good. So now I'm going to place that onto my rack and I will put it in my air fryer. Some people use pork or any other beef of your choice. But catfish goes very well with mungo chubby. So into the air fryer it goes. Then I will leave it there to do its job while I show you guys the rest of my ingredients. Here are the ingredients we'll be using guys. This one here is called the Mbongo. This is the Mbongo spice, guys. Look at it carefully. And this one is the Chobi. Mbongo and Chobi. That is where the name for this spicy black soup comes from. When you mix Mbongo and you with, together with Chobi, <laughs> that's where we get the name Mbongo Chobi. I'll be using some black pepper. I'll be using some African nutmeg, the colic pepper. I'll be using some white, uh, that's country onions, white pepper, Maggi crevette, njangsa, of course, is a must have in this dish, together with the, uh, the mbongo and the, and the chobi. <laughs> some celery. Spring onions, garlic, some chili. This dish is spicy. Some red and white onions. Yeah, I've got some paprika. Some people use tomato, but I prefer paprika. Okay. I will be, we'll be eating it with some cassava. 
and here is the mbongo spice which is already mixed i'll just keep that in case i will need it afterwards so also some oil okay guys and do not forget your salt so to begin with we want to first burn the mbogo the chubby we will burn the country onions and the african nutmeg we'll have to burn them on high flame okay so that we can peel it and also for it to release that flavor that will make our mbongo chubby very palatable okay now i'm burning it back in the days people didn't use tomatoes to cook this meal so i'm trying to do it like how it was done before okay that's why i didn't put tomato but feel free you can use tomato as your base I am also going to toast my njansa and the rest of the, the dry ingredients in another pan. Look at our fish, guys. It's almost ready. Okay. So now we are going to blend our spices. But before that, I'm toasting the garlic, the onions. now into the blender add all your ingredients and give it a good smooth blend My kitchen smells already like Mbongo Chubby. <laughs> Do not put much water, just enough to blend it. Here I'm adding a little bit of the, the mbongo spice just because mine wasn't 
black at all. I didn't get the the mbongo uh, stick. There is a one. There is a stick which is like the back of a tree. When you burn it and you blend it, it will make your sauce very black. I didn't get that, so I had to add the 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 black spice into my 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 blender. So now, guys, I'm just going ahead to fry those spices. I won't be frying them for long. Because remember, there is no tomato in my in my recipe, and also all the spices have already been cooked. Okay, the fish is already cooked and all that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I will I will cover it to cook for just about five to ten minutes. Will be fine. And do not forget to taste for salt and cube and no cube if it's okay then you can now add in your fish or whatever you are using if it's pork or beef or whatever you are using So now we are adding in our fish. Mmm, guys, this smells awesome. So that is all about it, guys. Mbongo Chobi is a very simple and easy dish to, pre to prepare. Today, I will be eating mine with cassava. But you can go ahead and eat it with any stash of your choice. You can use boiled plantain, boiled yam. You can even eat it with rice. Okay? Yes, that's how simple and easy it is to prepare bongo chobi. So long as you have the spices. And those spices are actually herbs. They are good medicinal herbs, guys. Please do not forget to like, share, and comment. Leave me a comment below, okay? Guys, you can see the cassava I am using is the red cassava. I prefer, if I want to boil cassava, I will use the red one. And I will not go for those big ones. I go for those young cassavas, okay? I have not forgotten what cassava used to do people back at home. <laughs> So guys, I'm just adding a little bit of salt to my cassava. Then I will cover it and let it cook. Okay guys, if you are hungry, you can join me. And let's dig in. This is where we come to the end of the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Okay, tell me in the comment section how you prepare your own bongo chobi. Until next time guys. When I come again with another delicious recipe, I want you all to stay healthy, stay safe, and bye-bye.